So what you like to find out how to use the last pass application. So with this last pass, you can keep tracking all your passcode across various accounts while ensuring the remain safe and easily accessibility. So how does this actual application work and why do you want to use the last pass? Now last pass is like the great application where you can just get started by saving all the actual uh, passcodes that you have in more than just 10 or 1000 um, accounts in just one section. So we have the actual free plan, we have the premium plan, and we have the family plan. So, uh, of course, the free plan only comes with one account, so you want to make sure that you are using what you're actually needing. So, how can we get started? First of all, let's create the last pass account. I'm going to leave the link down below in the description if you wanted to get started with an actual free trial of a really great uh, deal with the actual plan. So once you choose an actual plan, what you want to do is to choose an email as well as a master password and the reminder. So if I go and select my email, the master password is going to be helping me to have access to all my passwords. So usually here I have an actual uh, password, of course, generated by Google. So usually I don't use this because what you want to do is to remember your actual passcode. So you're going to go and enter my custom master passcode and confirmed exactly the same password. Now, lastly, here, the reminder, how does my actual uh, password start, start and how does it end or something that can be helping you to uh, find or remember your master passcode. So you can hit now to sign up because it's totally for free. And now focusing into the installing the LastPass browser extension. So I'm gonna hit now into Never. I install this into, in this case, my browser. So I add this directly into Chrome. I add this extension, and into the upper side, you see that here into all the extensions should be appearing the last pass. Now, as you see, this one has been now enabled, so you just need to wait a few seconds here, and then focus into my own extensions. So now it has now been installed automatically. So here, what you want to do is to add passcodes to the last pass. Now, once the extension is installed, you can begin adding passwords to your last pass ballot. Whenever you logged into an actual website, uh, last password prompted to save the login e details simply by click save to add them into your vault. You can also manually add the passcodes by navigating through the last pass vault and selecting add items. So even you can generate secure passcodes if you wanted to. Into the left part, what I wanted to do is to go into the security of my dashboard and you can add items to your vault. So since I do have now my actual element of my extension already been added in here, I wanted to make sure this is actually working. So Let's go into Kamba, for example, because we actually use Kamba a lot. Now, directly here into Kamba, what I'm going to be doing here is to, let's say, go out, sign out, and then later on, sign in. So I'm going to use my Google account, and I'm going to choose my account once again, go into continue. Now, I can start monitoring all my passcodes, check out the high safe leap the multi-factor authentication, the trusted device and the permitted mobile devices. And the dark web monitoring, of course, should be for don't be a victim, cybercrime is real, with the dark web monitoring and all of that. So we can stop monitoring and check out uh, if our actual Gmail is secure or maybe not. So if I go back, of course, into Canva, I'm gonna go here into Canva. I'm gonna choose my account, I'm gonna sign out. And when I choose to sign in, I'm gonna go for another way. I use my mail and as you can see automatically it's going to be showing me this element that we have just generated of course with the actual last pass. So I fill this and I use exactly the same thing and I am now inside in here. Of course what I just did here is to add another factor multi-factor authenticator so I needed to use Google in order to sign in. But this, that's like the idea. Not using Canva but you can use much more than just uh, one account. You might be now inside your actual account using everything of course is going to be of course added into LastPass. Now you can utilize additional features for example this one offers features such as the secure nodes, the form out of fail, the passcode sharing, explore features to future in case your passcode management experience and keep your data life organized and secure. Even you have all the elements about your passcode, you can see all the nodes, all the addresses and if you wanted to you can even add payment cards so you can safely have all of this information added even bank accounts and all of that. So it's gonna be really easy to add as much information as you can directly here. Even you have the starter kit where you can just get started with try the autofill, 
sword your last pass ball, stay connected with anywhere, adding three websites using the password generator, uh, share an actual passcode and whatever. So as you can see, it actually looks really great. Check out the generation of the passcode. It actually looks really great. Have a, a lot of really great feature and failing the passcodes. And it's really trusted to have the actual last pass. If you are wondering if this one is actually legit, if this one is uh, really safe, this one has millions of secure passwords with ListPass. They have a lot of protection with the business and they even have supporting of the even of the Google. So if you use this for the last few years with another few accounts and so far it actually it works for us and, ho and hopefully they can be improving more and uh, let's say adding more updates into the actual features of the last pass so guys uh, you're now equipped with the new knowledge of the last pass so you find this tutorial helpful be sure to like share and subscribe for more tech tips and to and tutorials of course thank you so much for watching hopefully we can see you next time